Now new tonight from our ABC 7 I team inside the fierce firefight that followed a police raid on one of Chicago's biggest Mexican cartel drug suppliers. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy has this video that resulted in one of El Chapo's sons being arrested for a short time, Chuck. Alan, this was the raid almost two weeks ago targeting top leaders of the ruthless Sinaloa cartel, including a son of drug lord El Chapo with his hands up for a time. Sinaloa has controlled a majority of street drug sales in Chicago for decades, and now this new video of the takedown by Mexican security forces obtained tonight by the I-Team after Mexican government officials released the new pictures from a botched operation. Helmet cam video from the October 17th assault on cartel operatives in Culiacan. This ended with eight dead and 20 wounded after a gun battle between heavily armed cartel commandos and Mexican security forces. Government officers outgunned by the cartel, including this Sinaloa sniper taking aim from a gutter. Chaos in Culiacan, home base for Sinaloa cartel operations and the beginning of a cocaine, heroin and meth pipeline direct to Chicago. This is where Joaquin El Chapo Guzman supervised a multi-billion dollar empire. And now that Chapo is in prison, one of his youngest sons, Ovidio, is riding shotgun. And the guns blazed when three dozen troopers descended on the young Guzman's home, arresting him on an outstanding U.S. extradition warrant. Chapo's kin up against the wall soldiers ordering him to call off cartel defenses as gunfire lights up the streets. He got on a cell phone and called his brother, but the deadly attack continued, cartel gunmen winning the battle. To curtail the continuing bloodbath, security forces released 28-year-old Guzman, the man they had come to get in the first place. It was an embarrassing moment for Mexican officials all the way to the nation's president. And tonight, with new information that the raid was in the works for more than a week, there are questions about what did he know and when. Mexico's defense and security ministers today saying that saving lives was more important than saving face, so they let El Chapo's son go. Government critics charge that authorities caved to the cartels and that it will only encourage all of them to expect similar treatment or else. You can see how that would happen. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.